Hi, my name is Nicolo Piazza. I'm an interventional cardiologist from the McGill University Health Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And in the next few slides, we're going to provide an update on the High Life Transeptal Transcatheter Mitral Valve Replacement System and how remote teleproctoring has allowed us to continue progress of clinical feasibility trials during this COVID pandemic. The High Life Transeptal Transcatheter Mitral Valve Replacement Procedure is composed of three steps. The first is to place a loop around the mitral valve leaflets using a retrograde aortic approach. The second step is to place a ring over the looped wire. And the third step is basically a valve in a ring. So we use a transeptal approach to deliver our valve across the ring. In this next slide, we provide a case example of the High Life Transeptal Transcatheter Mitral Valve Replacement System. On the complete left-hand side, you have step one, which is loop placement. You have both the fluoroscopic and echocardiographic images that demonstrate looping around the mitral valve leaflets. We are cinching to evaluate that we have properly placed the loop around the mitral valve leaflets. Step two is ring deployment along the uh, confirmed loop placement. And you can see again, both the fluoroscopic and echocardiographic images. And step three, using a transeptal route, we uh, advance the delivery catheter, initially deploy the outflow portion. And while that is deployed, we pull back up against the ring and finally release the inflow portion or atrial portion of the valve. And in the complete bottom right uh, side of the screen, you have an LV gram demonstrating uh, the final position and functioning of the valve. We perform several successful transeptal high life procedures using remote teleproctoring during this COVID pandemic. What you see on the slide here are several case examples of what the proctor appreciates while following the procedure. And so we have the potential to see echocardiography, fluoroscopy, our CT scans, the hemodynamics, and of course the hands of the operators. In this next slide, we provide an update about the clinical study status of the High Life Transeptal System. There are two studies being conducted across three continents that will aim to enroll approximately 65 patients. In Europe and Australia, the aim is to enroll 50 patients across 30 plus sites. In the United States, an early feasibility study will aim to enroll 15 patients across approximately six sites. On the right side of the slide, you can appre appreciate the cadence of site activation across Europe, Australia, and the United States. There are currently 26 sites activated and a total of 11 transeptal high life cases that have been performed. As we have seen, there has been efficient site activation during the COVID-19 pandemic across seven countries, including over 25 sites. Our recent clinical experience confirms that the high life transeptal technology is amenable to successful remote teleproctoring, enabling study continuation and the treatment of patients with mitral regurgitation. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.